and welcome to our session. I'm Kanika and I'm going to help you to solve the following question. The question says, by using the properties of definite integrals, evaluate the following. Integral of x by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. Before solving this question, we should know that integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of f a minus x from 0 to a. The knowledge of this property is the key idea in this question. Now begin with the solution. Let i is equal to integral of x by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. From the key idea, we know that integral of fx from 0 to a is equal to integral of f a minus x from 0 to a. Now by using this property, we get i as Now here, a is equal to pi. So i is equal to integral of pi minus x by 1 plus sine pi minus x where the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi. We know that sine pi minus x is equal to sine x. So, i equals to integral of pi minus x by 1 plus sine pi minus x from 0 to pi implies i is equal to integral of pi minus x upon 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. Let's name this equation as equation number 1 and this as 2. Now, on adding 1 and 2, we get i plus i equals to integral of x by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi plus integral of pi minus x by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. Now this is equal to integral of x plus pi minus x by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. And this is equal to integral of pi by 1 plus sine x from 0 to pi. Now we will multiply the numerator and denominator by 1 minus sine x. So we have integral of pi by 1 plus sine x into 1 minus sine x by 1 minus sine x where the lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi. Now this is equal to pi into integral of 1 minus sine x by 1 minus sine square x from 0 to pi. We know that 1 minus sine square x is equal to cos square x. So this is equal to pi into integral of 
1 minus sin x pi cos square x from 0 to pi equal to pi into integral of 1 by cos square x minus sin x by cos square x from 0 to pi. We know that 1 by cos theta is secant theta. So, this is equal to pi into integral of secant square x minus now, sin x by cos square x can be written as sin x by cos x into 1 by cos x. Sin x by cos x is tan x and 1 by cos x is secant x. So, we have secant square x minus secant x tan x. Lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi. Now this is equal to pi into integral of secant square x from 0 to pi minus pi into integral of secant x tan x from 0 to pi. We know that integral of secant square x with respect to x is tan x and integral of secant x tan x with respect to x is secant x. So by using these formulas we get pi into tan x Lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi minus pi into secant x. Lower limit is 0 and upper limit is pi. Now by using second fundamental theorem of integral calculus, we will first calculate value of tan x at pi. So we have pi into tan pi minus. Now we will calculate value of tan x at 0. So we have tan 0 minus pi into secant pi minus secant 0. Now tan pi is equal to 0 and tan 0 is also 0 minus pi into secant pi is minus 1 and secant 0 is 1. So we have minus pi into minus 2 and this is equal to 2 pi. So i plus i is equal to 2 pi. This implies 2i is equal to 2 pi and this implies i is equal to pi. Hence, our required answer is pi. So, this completes the session. Bye and take care.